constituency political broadcasts. Single member constituency candidates will be given three minutes. Candidates in four member group representation constituencies will be given 12 minutes. And five member constituencies will be given 15 minutes. Candidates will speak in any of the four official languages. Here are the candidates contesting in Chua Chu Kang GRC. Residents of Chua Chu Kang GRC, greetings. Chai Chua Kang de Jimmy Men, Da Jia Hao. Thank you for your support over the years for my team and I to serve you in the Chua Chu Kang GRC. We have worked together to improve the town, add new facilities, as well as refresh existing ones. And we have rolled out many programs to bring people together to take care of one another, especially the more vulnerable among us. I know COVID-19 is on the minds of many people. In the past few months, we have been fighting this war together and supporting one another. I want to thank everyone for your understanding and your perseverance. I especially want to thank our healthcare workers for taking care of our patients. Many in Chua Chu Kang also stepped forward to volunteer to look after and to take care of those who are affected. I joined some of them when they went around distributing care packs, masks, as well as daily necessities. This selfless act of volunteerism is really what makes us different. Chua Chu Kang is special because we are not just a town, we are family. We have done many things together as a Chua Chu Kang family over the last five years and we have also many exciting projects laid up for you. We have put all these in our five-year master plan and we hope that you have the opportunity to look at them and give us your feedback. And these include the new Safra Clubhouse, the Jurong Regional Line, the new Transport Hub, as well as Hawker Centres and many more. But beyond infrastructure and hardware, what is more important is people. We will continue to roll out programs to connect people together, to take care of one another and to ensure that no one is left behind. Why? Because we are family and we care. We are most concerned about the grandparents, aunties, uncles. There will be challenges over the next five years. We will work together with the various agencies to create new jobs, to make sure that we save lives as well as secure our future for our next generation. My team and I hope to have your strong endorsement and your support so that we can journey with you together as a family. It is now my privilege to introduce a member of, of my team, Zul. And Zul, as you know, is a Chochu Kang boy. I'm sure he has many stories to share with you. Zul, over to you. Thank you, Min. Salam sejahtera, tuan tuan dan puan puan. Nama saya Zul Karnain Abdul Rahim. Dear residents and friends, I've lived here in Chua Chukang. My parents are still living here for the past 20 years. I've seen how our town has grown. In the next five years, there are more upcoming exciting projects coming up. And these are detailed in our manifestos, which we have handed to you during our house visits. But beyond these programs and improvements, we have also rolled out programs to connect those most vulnerable amongst us. Allow me to speak in Malay. Tuan Tuan dan Puan Puan, sepanjang setahun M Kuasa 3 di Chua Chukang telah dilancarkan, kami telah mendampingi lebih daripada 5,000 penduduk di kawasan sekitar Chua Chukang, Kiat Hong dan Bukit Gombak. Program yang kita lakarkan dan kita lancarkan ini bertujuan untuk memperkasakan masyarakat dan belia masyarakat Melayu Islam kita. Pendekatan kita di Chua Chukang berlainan sedikit. Ianya kerana 
isu masyarakat kita terkait dengan isu-isu nasional. Namun, apa yang telah dikecapi tidak boleh dikecapi tanpa bantuan penat lelah titik peluh semua pihak, pihak masjid, sukarelawan, karyawan dan akar umbi. Oleh itu, saya berharap anda akan memberi kami kepercayaan untuk terus berbakti pada anda bagi lima tahun yang akan datang supaya program yang kita lakarkan ini dapat dilanjutkan untuk manfaat semua orang tanpa kira bangsa atau agama. Saranan, idea, dorongan anda amat diperlukan. Bak kata pepatah, bulat air kerana pebetong, bulat manusia kerana muafakat. Marilah kita sebulat suara, satu hati membina masyarakat yang lebih teguh untuk semua. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you my friend Don who has been volunteering in the community for the past 20 years. Don, 是家周,阿周是在蔡卓港長大的。親愛的蔡卓港選民們,大家好,我是黃文宏,今年 过程当中，我也对医疗保健和乐龄化等相关议题有更深一层的了解。但我看到一些孩子在游乐场玩耍时，还有通过家访接触到许多理工学院生，勾起了许多回忆。我很庆幸的是，这些学生都获益于许多针
it will be an eco-town of the future, connecting us to new train lines and also a transport hub. Additions such as the NS Hub, Bukit Gombak Park, Safra Club and the new hawker centres will make Chuajikang GRC a food and play wonderland. This is where you and your children can continue to build your dreams and hopes. We hope to continue serving you for the next five years. We are committed to improve lives, sustained jobs and also secure a better future for you and your family. 亲爱的五级干部和蔡州港集选区的居民们，大家好，我是刘艳玲。感谢大家一路来的支持，让我们的团队能和您一起打造温馨的家园。希望您再次支持我们，让我们继续为您服务。一起努力，齐心共建我们
我们是代表新加坡前进党 PSP 参加蔡厝感集选区竞选的团队，我是陈明华博士。行动党呼吁人民赋予其绝对的执政权利，以让他们能更好的应对疫情危机。实际上，他们要的是绝对的权利，去抑制反对的声音，以方便推行对他们有利的政策。上一届大选，他们以压倒性的胜利，赢得近百分之七十的选票。可是，生活成本依旧持续上涨，更多本地人的工作被外国人取代，收入不平等持续扩大，医疗费用和房价居高不下，和人民还是没有足够的储蓄退休。行动党在选前所做的承诺都被抛诸脑后。赋予行动党绝对的权利，也不会保证他们在治理国家方面能有更出色的表现。冠状疫情危机的不当处理就是一个很好的例子。阻断措施的实施，加剧了我们原本面对的社会、经济与地缘政治方面的挑战。由行动党长期专政的国会，只会导致自满、自大。和缺乏新思维的集体决策，最终导致决策质量日趋低下。今天的国会急需一个更能代表民意的声音，通过求同存异的辩论，给决策过程注入新活力。前进党是一个负责任的政党，有个值得信赖、与民同心的领袖。我们也拥有一个来自不同背景和生活经验的多元化团队，可以提供有建设性的建议，在制定符合人民利益的政策方面发挥关键作用。我们的目的不是阻碍执政党，而是确保政府能够把新加坡治理得更好。新加坡不会因为国会中多了辩论的声音而停顿下来。因为公务员必须保持政治立场中立，公务员制度仍将继续有效运行。武装部队、警察、公用事业、交通运输和医疗服务也是如此。新加坡拥有良好的生意，投资者不会因为国会多了不同的声音而动摇信心，所以。不要让恐惧影响您的选择，请投 PSP 一票，让我们代表蔡厝港集选区在国会为您服务，您理应获得更好。Para pengundi Chua Chu Kang yang dihormati sekalian, nama saya Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad, pengasas dan juga ahli jawatan kuasa eksekutif pusat PSP. Kami akan bakal bertanding di kawasan anda. Sebenarnya, ini bukanlah masanya untuk mengadakan pilihan raya. Tetapi, PAP mengambil kesempatan ini kerana krisis yang terdapat. Mereka mengutamakan politik daripada keselamatan kita. PAP menyatakan mereka mengharapkan mandat yang kuat untuk memerangi krisis ini. Mereka sebenarnya mahu menyekat segala kebebasan dan terus melaharkan polisi-polisi yang sesuai dengan agenda mereka. Ini bertentangan dengan kehendak rakyat. Di pilihan raya 2015, mereka mempulihi hampir 70% undi. Apa jadi selepas itu? Janji tidak ditepati. Sokongan mandat yang kuat tidak menjamin pemerintahan yang baik. Mereka telah gagal memerangi krisis ini. Sebaliknya, Suara alternatif yang lantang adalah lebih penting lagi. Tiada satu parti yang serba berkebolehan. Parlimen yang dikuasai oleh satu parti lama-lama jadi bongkak, cuai dan berkelompok. Kita perlukan pemimpin yang berkeprihatinan, yang sanggup membentang segala isu secara terbuka dan bukan di sebalik pintu yang tertutup. Segala Perbincangan bukan lagi di sebalik pintu tertutup. 
Singapura tidak akan jadi terbeku jika terdapat ramai pembangkang dalam parlimen. Jabatan Kemahatan Awam, Angkatan Tentera, Polis dan Pembekalan Awam, Pengangkutan dan Pusat Kesihatan akan terus berfungsi. Keyakinan pelabur tidak akan terjejas. Kami adalah pasukan dari pelbagai latar belakang dan pengalaman. Kami akan membuktikan kebolehan kami berkhidmat untuk anda. Tiada apa yang merugikan untuk anda memberi peluang kepada kami mewakili anda di Parlimen. Anda berhak punya hidup yang lebih baik. Undilah kami PSP. Terima kasih. Fellow Singaporeans and voters of the Chuachukang constituency, I am Chu Shon Ming. As a young Singaporean, I hope to contribute to making Singapore an attractive place for our young graduates. A place where our young people want to plant their roots in. In 1996, Lee Kuan Yew said, there's a glorious rainbow that beckons those with a spirit of adventure. To the young and to the not so old, I say, look at that horizon, follow that rainbow, go ride it. When young people like myself look out into the horizon today, we see that the rainbow he spoke of doesn't exist. We feel a sense of hopelessness regarding our future and tend to look abroad for better work-life balance and job prospects. We cannot afford to lose our young people and the talent they offer. We need new ideas to create job opportunities that people will be excited about, careers that they will find fulfillment in, not just a job, but a lifelong career built on a collection of meaningful and enriching life experiences. This can be achieved through robust policy debate, engaging industry experts, and the use of deep AI and analytics to match our talents with opportunity. Singapore is a unique and special place. By working together, we can see that rainbow return once more to our Singapore skies. Let us not lose what our founding fathers meant for us. A land of promise, and hope, a land with a bright future for each and every Singaporean. Vote for us. You deserve better. Friday, 10th July is polling day when you can exercise your right to vote. Additional measures have been introduced to make voting safer for senior voters. For senior voters aged 65 and above, your poll card will have the sergeant sign. You will be allotted a voting time band in the morning. If you turn up outside your allotted time band, you will be given priority to vote. On polling day, you or your family members can check the queue status at votequeue.goware.gov.sg before heading to your polling station. If you need assistance, a family member who's assigned to the same polling station may accompany you. Election officials will be on hand if you need a wheelchair. All polling stations are barrier-free. If you need help with electronic registration, disinfect your hands with hand sanitizer before passing your NRIC to the election official. After electronic registration, join one of the queues to receive the ballot paper. When it's your turn, place your poll card and NRIC on the table. After the election official has read out your voter serial number and name, you may keep your poll card and NRIC. Then, please sanitize your hands and put on the disposable gloves before receiving the ballot paper. Go to the polling booth. You may request a lab polling booth if the polling booth is not suitable for you. Use the self-inking pen to mark a cross in the empty box for the candidate you are voting for. You may also use your own pen. Do not make other markings on the ballot paper. When you're done, Fold your ballot paper in half and drop it into the ballot box. Remove your gloves and place them in the bin at the exit when you leave the polling station. Election officials are trained to provide all the assistance you need. Voting is safe. Your vote is secret. 
For more information, visit the Elections Department website or call the Election Hotline. Lights Camera Singapore presents In a mall where many people come and go, everyone is here for different reasons. For my husband. And as diverse as their backgrounds may be, the mall is where they become linked to one another. Lights Camera Singapore presents the feature film Gone Shopping, Tuesday at 10.15pm on 5. Gone Shopping is available on demand for free on MeWatch. Tonight, a collective call for parties to refocus on proper issues as political hustings reach the half-time mark. The topic of an opposition coalition government heats up. A PAP candidate calls it an arithmetic reality, but the PSP tells them not to frighten Singaporeans with such claims. Also at 9, highlights from round 2 of the constituency political broadcasts. Here we go again. Today we're crashing into an astronomy club. How do you guys feel about Pluto not being a planet? It makes sense. Really? <laughs> so how far is the sun from Earth? Okay, okay, okay. Then I think Ian is Ian is about to have a heart attack. He's, he's okay. Like, everyone is helping everybody else. Yeah. This is like the worst competition I've ever seen. Lion Mums crash landing on schools. Return 17th July at 8:15 on Five. Lion Mums crash landing on schools is available now for free on MeWatch. Here are the candidates contesting in East Coast GRC. Dear residents of East Coast GRC, I'm Hing Sui Kiet. Thank you for supporting Lim Sui Se, Lee Yi Xian, and the PAP team here, and before that, Professor Jayakumar and his team. My teammates and I, Cheryl, Kiet Hao, Maliki, and Jessica, are committed to serve you. Our residents are diverse. What unites us is the East Coast spirit of care and the pride in our culture and heritage. Over the years, we have worked hard to develop East Coast and build a caring, inclusive community. We revitalized Bedok Town Centre, built the Bedok Nature Way and many new HDB flats here. This will allow residents to enjoy nature and our young families to live near their parents. Residents can also look forward to future developments such as the Thompson East Coast MRT Line, the Bayshore Housing Precinct and the Coastal Adventure Corridor. Right now, we are all concerned with COVID-19. We understand your anxiety about your jobs and your families. Let me assure you that once elected, the PAP team at East Coast and the PAP government will continue to work hard to see us through this crisis. At the national level, we have committed almost $100 billion to safeguard the lives and livelihoods of our people. We will do our best to keep you in jobs, help you find new ones and support you to bounce back stronger. We will continue to strengthen our connectivity so that our businesses and our people have opportunities on the global stage. On the ground, we will continue to take care of your needs, especially in this difficult time. Cheryl will speak about opportunities for career and personal development and contributing to others. Get House will talk about the care and support for our seniors. Jessica will share about rejuvenation of our estates and supporting our businesses and mid-career workers to stay resilient. And Maliki will touch on connectivity across the whole of East Coast and through our values. Our East Coast GRC Manifesto is built on your feedback and contributions. Thank you. We will continue with our East Coast conversations to partner with you and connect residents together. My team and I will do our best for you to protect our lives, our jobs, our future. Together, we'll build a better home in East Coast and emerge stronger. Dear residents of East Coast GRC, we are 
对人民行动党的支持和信托。我们的团队会全力以赴，继续为您服务，以爱心、关还关怀东海岸。我们不仅帮助居民应对眼前疫情所带来的危机，也将落实东海岸的未来发展计划。我们与您同心协力，守护生命，保障工作，共创未来，把东海岸打造成一个更温馨、更美好的家园。我们希望再次得到您的委托，请投人民行动党一票。谢谢。我现在把时间交给慧玲。谢谢黄瑞杰。Mr. President, dear East Coast residents, I am Cheryl Chan. I would like to thank Fengshan residents for giving me the opportunity to serve you in the past five years. Fengshan is now a part of East Coast GRC. I'm happy to be warmly welcomed by my teammates. Over the years, I remain connected with East Coast throughout youth. While the programs may be different, but East Coast and Fengshan share the same vision of building a caring and inclusive community. In East Coast, I believed in partnering our youth to implement programs on the ground. We have two focus areas. First, to create opportunities for our young adults to pay it forward in society. Second, to enhance their career prospects and personal development. Together with the schools in the East Coast and the community partners, our young residents have stepped forward to bring digital clinic to our seniors and also befriended the vulnerables in the community to care for their well-being. Amongst many other initiatives they've done, some of them are the Go Green efforts, the Homework Cafe for the underprivileged children, the Employment and Networking Sharing series. I'm heartened that our youth's passion and their active participation have made all these grown-up initiatives possible. I firmly believe that if we all care enough, we can make it happen together, and together, we can improve the lives of fellow Singaporeans. As we emerge from COVID-19, some young adults have asked, "What are the opportunities available for them, and what more can be done in order to help them cope with the changes?" I would like to encourage our young adults to be flexible and to look at opportunities more widely. While the PAP is committed to create more job opportunities, traineeships, and learning courses, there is no one size that fits all. I think we all need to have that resilient, adaptive mindset and to continue developing each of our own. To support our youth in the development and their career. The existing programs will be strengthened and will enhance the variety of the many pathways that's available to help them with the future job market. As each generation's aspirations and dreams evolve, so do the external environment. We shall not be deterred to experiment, to give our very best, and to rebound with each lessons learned. Together, we can make our dreams come true. Now I'll hand over to Kate Hao. Thank you, Cheryl. Dear residents, my name is Ket Hao. Over the last few days, I met many of you, particularly our seniors. You shared with me your hopes and worries. Thank you for opening your hearts to me. Many of our seniors wish to remain healthy for as long as possible. Some of you are worried about healthcare costs, and many of you are anxious about keeping up with technology. Over the years, the East Coast team has put in place many programs to benefit you. From brief running services to functional screening to exercise classes at Heartbeat, if elected, we will enhance these programs. We will help you pick up digital skills so that you can better connect with your loved ones. In short, your golden years will be rewarding. I believe that by working together, we can build a more vibrant and caring community. As a newcomer in East Coast family, I have much to learn. And hope to get your support and for your patience. 东海岸的居民们，大家好，我是陈杰豪。在我创立建国一代办事处时，有幸遇到许多建国前辈，我被他们的奉献精神深深的感动，这是我参政的主要推动力。这几天，我有幸在社区里跟许多长辈们交流，他们都希望过着健康
充实的生活。我们的东海岸团队在这方面下了许多功夫，这些年来也推出了非常多的项目。倘若有幸受您受您委托，我们会为您推出更多的乐龄活动。我们也会安排亲切友善的数码大使。教大家如何掌握数码科技，跨越未来。身为一个新人，我有有许多要向大家学习的地方，希望大家给我个机会，为你们努力，打造一个温馨的家园。我现在把时间交给 Jessica， 谢谢。谢谢杰豪。Dear East Coast GRC residents, I'm Jessica Tan. Thank you for the unique privilege. Of having the opportunity to serve you these past 14 years in both Changi Sime and East Coast GRC, we meet often through our many dialogues and chit chat sessions, and more recently, our virtual sessions. Many of you have become friends. When you confide in me, I better understand your needs, share your aspirations, and feel your anxieties. This partnership. Has brought to life many projects across the GRC that has benefited our residents. This is a challenging time for everyone, especially our mid-career workers. We feel your worries, and we have programs to support you. Getting employed matters, or GEM at East Coast GRC. This is one of the programs that we have extended to enable our residents to get. Employment support, as well as to connect to jobs. The program includes partnership with a network of employers to offer jobs for residents. For a start, we have over 200 jobs available. We work with small and medium-sized businesses in our community, encouraging them to leverage available schemes to transform and stay relevant, and more important, to also upskill their workers. This allows them to offer quality services as well as jobs for our residents. The partnership with residents, the various upgrading programs, have rejuvenated our estates in East Coast GRC, improving the living environment, accessibility, and creating common spaces for residents. We look forward to the HIP for flats in Sime, which we've pushed so hard for. The neighborhood upgrading, pro uh, the neighborhood renewal program at Bedo. And the estate upgrading in the estates of Limau, Upper Changi, and Sea Breeze. Our team is committed to build on future plans to meet your evolving needs. With your support, we will work to building a strong East Coast GRC and Singapore for all. Let me now hand over to Maliki. Terima kasih, Jess. Para penduduk GRC East Coast, salam sejahtera. Saya Muhammad Maliki Osman. Saya telah berkhidmat untuk anda selama hampir 10 tahun. Dalam masa itu, saya telah berusaha gigih untuk memahami dan memenuhi keperluan anda. Wabak COVID-19 yang sedang melanda hari ini menjejas kita semua. PAP sentiasa berada di sisi anda. Kami faham dan prihatin akan kerisauan anda. Kami akan terus berusaha gigih untuk menyokong anda dalam kita mengharungi badai ekonomi ini bersama-sama. Kami akan membantu anda yang kehilangan pekerjaan untuk mencari pekerjaan yang baru dan membantu menangani kos sara hidup. PAP telah memimpin Singapura mengatasi berbagai krisis sebelum ini. Dengan mandat anda yang jelas, kami mampu untuk melakukannya sekali lagi. Dear residents of East Coast GRC, caring for your well-being and addressing your concerns have always been the cornerstone of our service to you. In East Coast GRC, over the years, we make it a point to know you in person, to care for you, to understand your needs, to improve the physical environment, and to develop social programs to meet your needs. As mayor of the East Coast of the Southeast District that oversees the East Coast GRC, I have developed many social programs to meet the needs of the low-income families. For example, our recent voucher schemes. We will continue to do more. Because we will not leave anyone behind. Your well-being is our priority. To experience the wonders of East Coast, we will enhance connectivity for you to travel seamlessly 
from our bustling and vibrant Bedok Central to the ever popular Fengshan 85 market and the homely Changi Simi, right up to the scenic and rustic Changi village. I entered politics because I firmly believe that we have a system that works, one that promises to give and deliver the best to every generation of Singaporeans. While at MINDEF and MFA, I had the opportunity to travel extensively and each time I return home, I humbly reflect on the importance of preserving what we have in Singapore, a country that upholds the principles of equality and meritocracy and living the ideals of racial and religious harmony. And also a country where safety and security of every citizen is ensured. This is what the PAP has promised and delivered. Now I would let us hear from DPM Hing again. Dear residents of East Coast GRC, this is your team. Vote PAP. Thank you. My fellow Singaporeans and voters of East Coast GRC, my name is Nicole Sia and I am your candidate from the Workers' Party. COVID-19 has hit us at an unprecedented time in our lives. We are trying to protect our families and livelihoods during the most severe pandemic in modern history. COVID is hitting the jobs market right as some of us are starting our careers. Those working in gig economy jobs will also feel the ripple effects. COVID passes, many of us will be left asking ourselves, where do we go from here? Our people are our priority, and we must never lose sight of that. As I have spoken to many young Singaporeans, I have learned that we can do so much more to better support the Singaporean workforce. We need to ensure that no Singaporean is denied higher education because of lesser resources. We need to prevent brain drain of bright Singaporeans who seek jobs in other countries due to the lack of opportunities here. The Workers' Party proposes that universities need to widen access to students from underprivileged backgrounds. We need our schools to provide mentorships and job placement opportunities that will be critical for us to remain globally competitive in the workforce. As we speak of Singaporeans who have fallen through the cracks during this pandemic, we believe that more could have been done to ensure that the money went into the hands of working class Singaporeans. Many Singaporeans were not able to receive unemployment payouts simply because of the type of property they were living in or being slightly above the annual income threshold. For some Singaporeans who had their own businesses, it was also difficult to pay their rent during these COVID months as the money doled out to landlords and property developers might not have trickled down into their hands. The Workers' Party raised these questions in Parliament to make sure that your voice was heard. The voters of East Coast GRC have voted consistently for more balance in Parliament over the last two decades. And the voters of East Coast GRC have recognised that the Workers' Party is a sensible and reasonable opposition that does not oppose for the sake of opposing. We know that many of you will be facing a very difficult choice in the coming days. And we also hope that you would not want to see a supermajority in Parliament that goes unchecked. That is simply not the consequence we want for Singapore. A vote for Workers' Party is a vote for fairness and balance. And I urge you, Singaporeans, to see the benefits that you would get as a voter with both a WPMP and a PA grassroots advisor being equally present in your constituency. Make your vote count. Vote the Workers' Party. 亲爱的东海岸急行器的选民
，这会对他们造成一定的负担。他们必须养儿育女，又得奉养父母，面对了极大的压力。为了帮助我们的年长者和夹心城，工人党的竞选党纲提出了三个主张：第一，为六十五岁以上的新加坡人及残疾人士免费车资，让他们。搭公共交通，我们的年长者，不论贫富，都应该获得此优惠。他们都默默为新加坡打拼了大半辈子，政府应该回馈他们了。增加长期护理的津贴。根据一份二零幺八年联氏基金的报道，住在疗养院的人平均费用约约约为两千一百元。如果您的人均家庭收入高于两千八百元，而家长必须入住疗养院，那就无法获得任何津贴。我们建议将以批准的长期护理的家庭人均收入合格顶线提高到三千两百元，并将津贴提高到六十五到八十八千。这可以帮助我们的中等收入家庭减轻减轻负担。第三，工人党也反对提高消费税。在二零幺八年的财政预算案辩论，工人党因为人民行动党无法提供任何对未来的收入与支出的数据，而反对提高消费税。亲爱的选民。我的父亲在二零幺零年中风，这让我深深的了解昂贵的长期护理的负担。我在两年前也刚刚组织了我自己的家庭，同时也得照顾年迈的母亲。我对这些情况感同身受。工人党希望通过我们的政策和在国会强而有力的提问，帮助你和您的家人过得更好。请投工人党一票，让您的一票成就未来。Tuan Puan Penduduk East Coast, nama saya Abdul Sharif Abu Kasim. Akibat dari situasi COVID-19 ini, akan ada perubahan pada ekonomi negara kita yang mungkin akan menyebabkan kehilangan kerja dan pengangguran struktur. Pasaran kerja akan menghadapi cabaran yang mungkin tidak pernah dihadapinya. Ada dua perkara yang terkandung di dalam manifesto Parti Pekerja yang penting untuk situasi seperti ini dan juga pada masa akan datang. Yang pertama, Parti Pekerja mencadangkan insurans pemberhentian kerja. Atau insurance redundancy. Insurance redundancy akan dapat mengurangkan tekanan kewangan yang berlaku pada pekerja yang diberhentikan kerja. Keluarga pekerja juga tidak akan terjejas dengan begitu parah. Yang kedua, parti pekerja mencadangkan hukum anti diskriminasi. Ini adalah kerana apabila persaingan dalam pasaran pekerjaan menjadi lebih kompetitif, akan ada beberapa golongan yang mungkin akan menghadapi masalah diskriminasi. Hukum anti diskriminasi yang kami cadangkan termasuk diskriminasi atas dasar bangsa, jantina dan juga usia. Ia juga menangani masalah diskriminasi terhadap warga negara Singapura apabila mereka bersaing dengan warga asing. Hukum anti diskriminasi juga akan memastikan majikan akan memperkenalkan proses dalaman untuk melindungi pekerja mereka daripada diskriminasi. Tuan Puan. Manfaatkan undi anda, undilah parti pekerja. Terima kasih. Cinaida, Tonghai An, Jiu Xuanqiu, Xuanming, 大家好
，我是黄富荣。我晓得很多选民会问，工人党如果当选，将如何管理市政会？在九十年期，后港和波东巴西的市区翻新计划，经常被移到其他市区之后，电梯翻新也时常被延误。幺幺年大选过后。工人党赢得了阿育尼巨选区，人民行动党对翻新工程的计划有所改变。在政府实行的家居改进计划和邻里更新计划当中，阿育尼和后港居然没排列最后。人民行动党意识到，一视同仁的机制至关重要，不公平的手段将损坏国家凝聚力，分化社会。你手中的一票能改变人民行动党对您的态度，对聆听民生的思维。工人党倘若赢得了东海岸巨选区，有能力掌管市政会吗？市政会的运作主要依赖工程承包商，市政会的理念和价值观特别重要。无论居民支持哪一个政党。工人党一向来强调，市政会在服务居民时，必须公正，维持行政中立。市政会处事待人，必须公正，不偏不倚，优先考量，总是为居民解决问题。这样的精神也延伸到我们和承包商的关系，无论是清理、建筑、除害虫，或园艺学。我们关注的只是专业能力，而不是他们的政治立场。工人党是否会直接接管市政会，还是外包代理？关键在于外包代理是否愿意撇开政治，把焦点放在服务居民身上，把票投给人民行动党，不止给予他们。强有力的委托，甚至还授权他们十足的权利和政治垄断，资源任由他们支配。我恳请东海岸巨选区的选民支持工人党，打造一个有制衡的国会，让我们为您服务，维护您的权益。请支持工人党，让您的一票成就未来。The result of the last general election was such that our nation came very close to only having one opposition member in the House. In this election, if an opposition wipeout comes to pass, Parliament may merely become a rubber stamp for the government's bills and policies. Is own self check on self the best way forward? The Workers' Party believes that a stronger opposition presence in Parliament, one that constructively and robustly engages, will lead to better outcomes for our families. And our children. COVID has stress-tested the resilience of our economy and our savings. We already see businesses shuttering up, redundancies and wage cuts are occurring, and more will come. The government has forecast that our GDP will be as much as negative seven percent this year. It has stated that we are in for a deep and protracted recession. Singaporeans are understandably anxious for their families and what the future may hold. But Singapore was already at an inflection point prior to COVID. While our GDP was 0.7 percent, our per capita GDP was $88,991. COVID had made it clear that our businesses and households have not accumulated sufficient reserves so as to weather this current storm. Scratch beyond GDP figures, and one will see that household debt was 64 percent to GDP. A recent OCBC survey. This year has stated that seven out of ten Singaporeans will not have sufficient reserves to cover their overheads for any more than six months if their incomes are lost. COVID has exposed the need for broad structural and fiscal reforms if the aim is to make our local businesses and households financially self-reliant and our economy buoyant going forward. Beyond structural reforms, there are issues of pressing concerns brought up by East Coast residents. First, it is vital that our local businesses are saved. Our SMEs employ over 700,000 Singaporeans, and they, are, and they are the backbone of our economy. SME business owners tell 
me that they must now wait until after this election for the government to act decisively to reduce rentals. If rentals are not reduced, they will be hard pressed to prevent retrenching employees or the imposition of wage cuts. The government might also urgently consider additional employment allowances for every worker that a company keeps employed beyond what it has already promised. Further, the government might also urgently consider cash grants to Singaporeans who have lost their jobs to help make ends meet as they struggle to find re-employment. The government had previously accumulated healthy surpluses and should be able to grant these lifelines readily. The Workers' Party has fielded 21 candidates in this general election, all committed to ensuring that Singapore rises like a phoenix from COVID's ashes. The government does not have a monopoly of ideas. A constructive and increased opposition presence in Parliament is all the more vital in these troubling times. Your vote is secret. Make your vote count. Vote for the Workers' Party. Tonight on Five. Next week on Kin. When you look at Khalid, what do you feel? Myself. I'm damaged. And because of me, my son's damaged too. Thank you for taking me to Nikki's birthday party. You're welcome. Kin, Mondays to Thursdays on 5. More episodes of Kin are available on demand for free on MeWatch. Brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric Starmex Air Conditioner. Sunday on 5. A thriving community. Where every life is connected. One place. A thousand stories. Serengeti, Sunday on 5. Hello, Winnie. Do you miss me? What are you doing here? Don't worry. <laughs> I just need your help. You're the only one I can trust. We've got half of the force looking for him right now. If you want to catch this guy, we have to play a different game. Inspector Razali. Code of Law Final, Monday at 10.15pm on 5. More episodes of Code of Law Final are available on demand for free on MeWatch. Lights Camera Singapore presents In a mall where many people come and go Everyone is here for different reasons For my husband And as diverse as their backgrounds may be The mall is where they become linked to one another Lights Camera Singapore presents The feature film Gone Shopping Tuesday at 10.15pm on 5 Gone Shopping is available on demand for free on MeWatch here we go again. Today we're crashing into an astronomy club. How do you guys feel about Pluto not being a planet? It makes sense. Really? <laughs> so how far is the sun from Earth? Okay, okay, okay. Then I think Ian is, Ian is about to have a heart attack. He's, he's okay. Like, everyone is helping everybody else. Yeah. This is like the worst competition I've ever seen. Lion Mums Crash Landing on Schools. Return 17th July at 8.15 on 5. Lion Mums Crash Landing on Schools is available now for free on MeWatch. Tonight, a collective call for parties to refocus on proper issues as political hustings reach the half-time mark. The topic of an opposition coalition government heats up. A PAP candidate calls it an arithmetic reality, but the PSP tells them not to frighten Singaporeans with such claims. Also at 9, highlights from round 2 of the constituency political broadcasts. The health of all depends on each one of us. So let's work together using new tools. And keeping to our new habits to protect the people we love. So let's do our part. Here are the candidates contesting in 
Holland Bukit Timah GRC. Dear residents of Holland Bukit Timah, it has been a real privilege to have served with you for almost two decades. I have a tried and tested team, Ms. Sim Ann, Mr. Christopher de Souza, and the newest member of the team, Mr. Edward Chia, a young entrepreneur brimming with energy and ideas. Ed? Thank you, Minister. Hi, I'm Edward Chia, husband to a very supportive wife and a father to a six-year-old boy. My son is my inspiration to create a better future for him and his generation. I've always believed in creating opportunities for others. Fifteen years ago, my business partner and I started Timber to create a platform for our homegrown Singapore musicians to pursue their passion in music and to create a successful career for themselves and their loved ones. I also believe in creating opportunities for hawker heroes to increase their income and also to leave a lasting legacy. Timber's Hawker Printer Incubation Program provides budding hawker heroes business opportunities to kickstart their business journey. We have a hawker hero who quit his day job as a landscape architect to open up his first store selling seafood soup. Since then, he and his wife have not only expanded their business but also their family. They are now father of a proud parents, proud parents of a cute little girl. COVID-19 SMEs create opportunities for stability and success for many Singaporeans. I believe many fellow SME business owners are going through difficult times because of COVID-19. Many are struggling to keep their business afloat while safeguarding their people's jobs and livelihoods. We understand that our people are our greatest asset and we must care for them. To my fellow SME business owners, I would like to tell you that I understand how difficult this is and I can truly empathize. I hope to be your voice or SMEs in Parliament. COVID-19 has also caused major job insecurities. For those who have lost their jobs, I would like to assure you, you are not just a statistic and you are not alone. I will spend all my energy to understand your unique circumstance to seek a new job for you. As SMEs provide 70% of the jobs in Singapore, one of the best ways to provide you a better job is to redouble our efforts to help our SMEs survive, not just survive, but emerge stronger. Stronger SMEs means better jobs for us all. Beyond business, I serve as a co-chair of the Singapore Youth Action Plan. Through my engagement with youths, I learned that they are optimistic about Singapore's future and are eager to play their part. We must help them develop deep vertical skill sets and horizontal skill sets to enable greater agility, adaptability and innovation. We must also encourage them to have a deeper cultural understanding of Southeast Asia so they can develop kinship and bonds with fellow youths. I'm confident that our, our youths uh, have the gumption to seek out opportunities to not just survive but thrive. I believe that Singapore's best years are ahead of us and I'd like to play my part to bring Singapore forward and upwards. Please vote for us, please vote for the PAP. Tatiahao,我是谢平辉,从学生一代,我就开始创业。我希望在国会里积极发表在经济就业课题上的看法，帮助我国经济尽快找出新的出路。请支持我和人民行动党。谢谢。I would like to pass my time now to my colleague and my mentor, Mr. Christopher De Souza. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. We have carried out thousands of home visits and partnered our residents through thick and thin, ups and downs. This has created a special bond. But it has also allowed us the opportunity to gather excellent ideas and suggestions on how to enhance our neighbourhoods and estates across the constituencies. One key priority of many residents is to build a green and sustainable constituency and we will continue our concerted efforts to meet that aim. We will continue to roll out initiatives such as harnessing solar power by putting solar panels on more HDB blocks, building vertical urban farms and also reducing electricity usage in common spaces by installing motion detectors for our lights. But our plans do not stop there. There are green community initiatives that we will continue to roll out 
across our constituencies. Park connectors, besides water bodies, parks, recreational spaces, and of course, giving accessibility to the wonderful green lung, our rail corridor that flows throughout the constituency. COVID-19 has been a difficult time in the constituency, but we've partnered our residents through it. Community initiatives have been rolled out and will continue to be rolled out. Laptops for students from less fortunate families who need assistance with home-based learning. Food distribution in the form of rations, free food delivery services, and assisting our local industries with subsidies, markets, hawkers, merchants, and businesses. But at the forefront of our minds has been jobs. Redoubling our efforts for job matching for our residents across the estates. Retention of jobs, job opportunities, and matching of jobs. Our future, families, jobs, and a green and sustainable constituency. These will continue to be our priorities and we humbly ask for your partnership to build those aims into our constituency. Thank you very much. I now invite my teammate and colleague, Ms. Sim Ann. Thank you, Chris. The last few months have not only been about loss and sacrifice, it has also been a time of hope and rediscovery. I see this in first-time volunteers who have come forward to serve fellow residents. I also see this in the suggestions that residents have offered me on the things that we can do together after the pandemic recedes. This gives me confidence that we can build back better. I know we can build back better because we share a past. Our residents know us so well that they can recognize us even behind face masks. I know we can build back better because of skills and technology. With digitization, I can galvanize the community from my home and my residents can also reciprocate with ideas and inputs. And I know we can build back better because between us, there is trust. At a time when hand sanitizers were in scarce supply, a resident came up to me and placed these much sought after items in my hands because he trusted me to know who they should go to. There were more who did the same and I'm touched beyond words by our residents' generosity. To build back better, you will need a team that knows the ground and knows how to work with you. And we have begun doing that. I have many ideas about expanding our community initiatives during the pandemic to support more national priorities. I want to focus on supporting job seekers in the community because getting a job or getting back into a job is the most sustainable way forward. Not forgetting the environment, I also have plans to set up a digital communications registry. There are so many things that we can do together and I've never felt more energized and I'm very sure that my teammates also feel the same way. Please support the PAP. 各位选民,在这场选举,我们面临的是重大的抉择。在我们面前的是一条漫长而且崎岖的复原之路。明智的国家政策是非常重要的,但是一个好的选区团队也是不可或缺的。在恢复繁荣的道路上,议员们不仅要在国会里议事,继续地为选民争取设施的改善。他们更要在城镇、邻里层面发挥领导力。无论是推动就业,帮助陷入困难的家庭,或是发动民众守望相助,一个好的选区
And for the government, we've had to focus on dealing with the immediate threat to health, with protecting jobs, with keeping companies afloat, and with continuing, in fact, accelerating the restructuring of our economy for future opportunities. Our priority remains jobs, jobs, jobs. We also launched the largest consular operation in our history as we brought Singaporeans from overseas back home as they sought refuge and safety in Singapore. This is a manifestation of our commitment to leave no Singaporean behind. But I am confident, I am optimistic that we will emerge from this crisis stronger, more resilient, more united than ever before. That extra ingredient is trust. You know us, you know what we stand for, you know we will do everything to support you, your families and your children. It has been a privilege for me to have met you, to have seen your children grow up and some of them become parents in their own right. We thank you for the years of support and relationship and now I humbly seek once again your support. Please vote for the PAP. Thank you very much. My dear neighbours and voters of Holland Bukit Timah, my name is Alfred Tan from the Singapore Democratic Party and I am one of the four candidates from the Holland Bukit Timah GRC. I am a business owner with years of management experience in international banking and industry. The economy and social landscape after COVID will be different from the one we know. Our manifesto, Four Yes, One No, is a recognition of the new world. It is our response for the people and economy for transition and thrive in the new Singapore. That new world will be so fast changing that it will be the creativity and resilience of the people that will keep our nation relevant. We need to encourage innovation. The knowledge economy will demand our people to question the status quo, to have the courage to test preconceived notions and push existing boundaries. We must dare to try and not afraid to fail. This will make us stronger, nimble and agile. We need to keep our economies flexible and responsive. SMEs naturally respond to changes in the environment quicker and able to take the advantage earlier. We need to rebuild and strengthen our SME base. We need to intentionally promote local enterprise and promote new ideas better. In the new world, we cannot keep on doing the same thing, expecting the same thing, when the world is no longer the same thing. We cannot afford to stand still. We need to press ahead to just to stay relevant. So Singapore must change its old ways of doing things. The new world ahead is honest and we need a new vision. We need new ideas. We need fresh hands and minds. It is time we put in new leaders. Let's take on the new world together. We will improve Singapore and make it better and more gracious. So people of Holland Bukitima embrace the future. Together with, G with SDP, let's show the rest of Singapore the way forward. Vote us into Parliament. Let us speak up and represent you. Dear friends and voters of Holland Bukitima, my name is Min Cheong from the Singapore Democratic Party and I'm one of four candidates for the Holland Bukitima GRC. I'm a writer and marketing communication strategist who has worked for multinational corporations, startups, and non-profit organizations across industries spanning consumer technology, telecommunications, and education. Besides being an advocate for open public discourse, I'm also passionate about what I call workforce wellness. Why? Because Singapore is not well. The nation is overworked stressed and struggling to survive in a climate of merciless competition amidst an uncertain future, one that is exacerbated by the COVID-19 outbreak. We're apprehensive about the economic landscape and our livelihoods. 
the future of job, the job market and where our careers might fit in. And many of us are also faced with personal and mental health challenges because of unsavory workplace practices. Job insecurity and the stresses of having to find ways to cope with constant change to make ends meet in a city which has been deemed the most expensive in the world to live in puts people under great pressure. Pressure that is made more acute by a societal culture which tends to place excessive weight on power and status above com uh, more compassionate metrics of what it means to be successful. We see this in how people are treated in so many situations. And we endure this culture because we largely feel dispensable and undervalued, and the, that the powers that be will not stand up for us and fight. It is this reason that I feel strongly about collaborating with you to reform how we live and work. I'd love to hear your views on how we can deal with socioeconomic sustainability, job creation and innovation, career empowerment, organizational uh, well-being, and uh, personal and personal well-being. I'm committed to prioritizing your needs, your hopes, and your vision for a happier, healthier Singapore. Because we at the SDP know that you've worked hard. We understand your struggles. We feel your happiness and your pain. We celebrate your successes. We see you. And we will be honored to fight for you. So friends in Holland Bukit Timah, if you feel so inclined to take the first step towards a Singapore that you can thrive in and be proud of, give us the opportunity to serve you and represent your needs in Parliament. Vote for us and support the SDP. Thank you. Dear residents of Holland Bukitima GRC, I am Tan Ji Se from the Singapore Democratic Party. Holland Bukitima GRC was the ground where I first stepped into politics nine years ago. I am honoured to be back as a candidate, once again asking for your vote to serve you. Our economy will be very different in a post-COVID-19 world. I advocated for job creation in stable sectors such as healthcare and education as far back as nine years ago. Today, I am once again asking for the same, but with greater urgency. We need to uh, make sure that we have stable and fulfilling jobs for the people and not just short-term traineeships. We must ensure that there is cert certainty uh, facing, stability facing disruptions that will surely come up in the future. Although the pandemic is at the top of everyone's mind, and rightly so. We do need to address some fundamental issues plaguing our economy. Issues such as the rising cost of living and the increasing income inequality must be tackled so that Singapore can move on as a fairer and more embracing and inclusive society. It is important that we look at Singapore with a macro view, but we must not forget to zoom in and focus on the local community. Just like before, we intend to have the Bukit Timah, Holland Bukit Timah GRC and Bukit Panjang SMC serving you as one town council. The five of us have different experiences and backgrounds with complementary skills and strengths. With my years of experience in finance, I will make sure that town council finances are in good order and are processed properly. Dr. James Gomez has experience managing large international organizations and will bring efficiency to town council management. Alfred Tan has experience managing small to medium-sized enterprises and will speak up for this important part of our economy. Min Chong has, Min Chong has launched several retail products for a large conglomerate and will promote workforce wellness. She will represent women and the young and will ensure happiness in the local community. Lastly, Paul Tam Dr. Paul Tambaya is the president-elect of the International Society of Infectious Diseases who will make sure that public health is cared for in our community. We believe that there is strength in our diversity that we are effective because of our differences 
and not in spite of them. We will bring both the brains and the heart to serve you in the local community and in Parliament. Give us the chance to serve you. Vote SDP. Thank you. Dear voters of Holland Bukit Timah GRC, thank you for your continued support for the SDP over the last two elections. My name is James Gomez from the Singapore Democratic Party, and I am one of the four candidates in Holland Bukit Timah GRC. I'm a political scientist and have management experience at international organizations and universities globally. As of 1st July, we have crossed 44,000 COVID-19 infections in Singapore, the highest in ASEAN, and the total number is rising on a daily basis, including in the community. We have 26 deaths recorded so far. The PAP has mishandled the COVID-19 pandemic. They were wrong to ask us not to wear masks. They were wrong not to isolate affected workers and for housing them in crowded dormitories and wrong in keeping schools open. They politicized the management of COVID-19 task force by appointing themselves, not medical experts, and promoted themselves in front of the media. Now, they have called for an election to legitimize their own missteps. By calling for an election during this time, they have made campaigning difficult. We want to meet and interact with you so we can get to know each other better. Unfortunately, we are limited by social distancing, limited by those who we can reach over social media, and limited by the slots allocated to us in the mainstream media. Meanwhile, the PAP enjoys the advantages of being the incumbent to spew propaganda at you. Nevertheless, the SDP candidates of Holland Bukit Timah will work with you, hear your concerns, and formulate a robust COVID-19 response led by health professionals. Thus far, the PAP has been only giving excuses, saying they did not have hindsight, and making U-turns during this elections period. How typical. But their track record is poor, yet they are asking you to trust them. You would have noticed in the PAP, they are experiencing a high turnover of MPs. The current PAP is weak and inexperienced. We need a new group of people with foresight who can be your voice in Parliament. We are confident to tackle not only COVID-19 challenges, but also national issues and manage your town council well. Once again, my name is James Gomez, a member of the SDB team for Holland Bukit Timah GRC. Please vote for us. We will speak up for you and provide the checks and balances needed for a safe Singapore. Friday, 10th July is polling day when Singaporeans can exercise their right to vote. Eligible voters will receive a poll card showing their allotted polling station and voting time band. On polling day, before heading to your polling station during your allotted voting time band, you can check the queue status at votequeue.goware.gov.sg to minimize waiting time. Before leaving home, check your temperature if your temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius and above, or you are having respiratory symptoms, do not go to vote. You can apply to restore your name to the electoral register without penalty after the election. If your temperature is below 37.5 degrees Celsius, bring along your NRIC and your poll card to your polling station. Don't forget to wear your mask. When you arrive at the polling station, please join the queue at the temperature screening station. If your temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius and above, you will be turned away. All voters must wear masks and observe safe distancing. Remember, at the polling station, do not take photographs or videos in the voting area. Within the voting area, Priority queuing is given to senior voters and voters with physical disabilities. We have also reserved the morning time band for senior voters aged 65 years and above. Keep one meter apart from others when you're in queue.
lower your mask for identification and show the election official your photo on your NRIC. Scan your NRIC to register yourself. If you need help from the election official, sanitize your hands before handing over your NRIC. After electronic registration, join one of the queues to receive the ballot paper. When it is your turn, place your poll card and NRIC on the table. After the election official has read out your voter's serial number and name, you may keep your poll card and NRIC. Then, please sanitize your hands and put on the disposable gloves before receiving the ballot paper. Go to the polling booth and mark a cross in the empty box for the candidate you are voting for with the self-inking pen. You may also use your own pen. When you're done, fold your ballot paper in half and drop the ballot paper into the ballot box. Remove your gloves and place them in the bin at the exit when you leave the polling station. Be socially responsible and help ensure voting is safe. Voting is safe. Your vote is secret. For more information, visit the Elections Department website or call the election hotline. Tonight, a collective call for parties to refocus on proper issues as political hustings reach the half-time mark. The topic of an opposition coalition government heats up. A PAP candidate calls it an arithmetic reality, but the PSP tells them not to frighten Singaporeans with such claims. Also at 9, highlights from round 2 of the constituency political broadcasts. Here are the candidates contesting in Hong Kong North SMC. I'm no stranger to you. I've had the pleasure and privilege of serving you and working with you for more than 18 years. You are now like a family to me. Even in the new West Extension Estate, I have become a familiar face. During my regular house visits, some of you have even reminded me that I had presented you at you safe bursaries when you were young. Now that you have a family, you have chosen this new precinct in Hong Kong North as your home. Thank you for opening your homes and your hearts to me. I share your pains, your joys and your aspirations and believe that the help I offered has made a difference. Madam Wang's husband passed away some nine years ago, shortly after the birth of her son. It was tragic and tough. I mobilised government and community resources to help her during this very difficult period. Now that her son is older, we have helped her to get a job in our student care centre. Her older daughter is currently in university, with a bright future ahead. We might have had a bad start in life, but with the right help, we can still advance. And I'm glad that I can bring that help to Madam Wang and many others in Hong Kong North. You know that I will continue to look out for all of you, especially the vulnerable and weak, so that no one is left behind. These past 18 years, my community leaders and I have gotten your wonderful support to improve our estate with new playgrounds, fitness hubs, food courts, transport services and many other facilities. I'm pleased to share with you that the new bus service linking West Extension and Jurong East Interchange will start operating in about three weeks' time on the 26th of this month. We have also recently launched our Eco Plan to promote sustainability. My goal is to work with you to make Hong Kong North a cohesive, caring and climate-friendly town for you and your children. These are challenging and trying times. But you know that I will not let you down because I care and I will act for you, for the people of Hong Kong North. Now, even though the challenges are very difficult, I will not let you down, but I will give you a chance. Please give me a chance to serve you. 共同克服挑战，建立一个更灿烂的未来，建立一个更美好的丰家北家园。Undila P A P Undila Emiko Trima Kase Nandri. Dear citizen of Singapore, very special hello to uncle, auntie, brother, sister of Hong Kong North. Today, my rally speech is national pledge. 
we are the citizens of Singapore. Pledge ourselves as one united people, regardless of race, language or religion, to build a democratic society based on justice and equality so as to achieve happiness, prosperity and progress for our nation. Our pledge is the foundation of Singapore. 54 years have passed. We have achieved prosperity, progress for our nation. Singapore has become very prosperous. Why are we still not happy? Lack of democratics, justice and equalities. We always listen to our government. Are the opportunities and the jobs given to Singaporeans? Why our government can treat us in this way? Because Singaporeans never challenge our government on transparency and accountabilities. Hong Kong North is very important because you are the blue eye boy of PAP. For the past two general elections, PAP has won over 70% votes in Hong Kong North. Hong Kong North may be a small SMC, but if we won, we are sending a very strong message to the government. We are not happy. We are very cooperative. I am the daughter of Singapore. I have given up everything back home with you by your side. We need to find back our national pledge, the missing of democratics, justice and equalities. I urge Hong Kong North, sister and brothers, just like you go to the army, to protect our country, leave no man behind. I urge you to stand by my side, support me, send me to the parliament, let me be your voice. Thank you. 我是新加坡的女儿，我回来了，和你们在一起，我们要找回我们的根，我们新加坡的信约，我们失去的幸福，我们失去的民主、公正。请大家站在我身边，支持我，将我送进国会，让我代表你们发言，谢谢你们，感
，自二零幺幺年以来，后港不断实施各种翻新计划。如果当选，我将会确保计划顺利完成。我将竭尽所能，精进我们的服务，让后港持续成为您美丽的家园。亲爱的后港选民，为了您的未来，更为了您孩子的未来，请您的一票成就未来，请同。工人党一票，请让我陈立峰再一次回到国会为您发言，谢谢。亲爱的后港居民，澳港后，每当我问起你们这个口号时，你们都会回应我“后”。这显示我在后港跟你们有个共同的互动方式，这也代表我对大家的祝福，希望大家。身体好，事业好，样样好。一转眼，六年已过。我实现在二零一五年为你们做出的承诺。首先，我在区内为乐龄人士的生活注入了新生命。无论是乐龄托管服务、医疗保健计划，还是促进身心健康的活动。其次，我也主办了一系列。增强家庭凝聚力的社区活动，在这个基础上，我们一起打造出一个具有爱心、富有人情味的社区，巩固后港坚毅不拔的钢板精神。最后，我也努力改善后港的基础设施和居民的生活质量。我们都感受到这疫情给新加坡带来很大的冲击。大家都很清楚地了解，这疫情影响了很多新加坡人的生计。政府也正在努力，创造更多的工作机会。我将与各个领域和企业紧密地合作，为后港居民创造更多的就业机会。接下来，我需要你们的委托，让我能够更全面地来服务这个社区，照顾你们的需求。我李宏壮，希望跟你们一起努力，宏观未来，壮大后港。What I've just described in the Mandarin is the kind of family spirit that Hao Gang have. We are a big family, committees that rally around when one of our very own is in need. We need to take care of our senior, the family, the young, and the youth, regardless of race, language, or religion. We clearly know that COVID-19 pandemic has affected the livelihood of many Singaporeans. Our government has committed to create more jobs. I will assist Hong Kong residents transit into new jobs. I will create job opportunities for the residents by working closely with different enterprises and organizations. I'm Lee Hong Chuan. Together with you, we can do more. Please give me your support and serve you. Thank you.